one of the things that we're doing is answering commonly asked questions. And one of those questions is, how do I lubricate my lock? That is something that you have to do on a regular basis, especially those that are out in the weather. So uh, we're going to be talking about that process today. Uh, the, the actual act of doing that is probably very simplistic, but the choice of the, the lubricant that you use, the lock lubricant, is going to be important. So Thomas is here with me today, and we're going to be uh, kind of working through that. You've got some tin foil here, so it looks like we're going to be having some type of a show and tell. We'll do, we'll do a little show and tell here in a little bit. Um, I think one of the biggest things is is why do you need to lubricate sure. your lock, and then we'll talk about the lubricants that you should use that will make it either help your lock or end up hurting your lock. All right. So why would you need to lubricate? So if your key's getting stuck in the lock, if you have a hard time turning your key, that I always hear the word gummy. I, it feels like it's gummed up. It's, sure. it's not it's not turning the way it, it used to. Mm -hmm. That's a really good reason to lubricate your lock. Or your door hinges are squeaking and making a lot of noise. This exact same principle is going to happen there. It's basically metal that is wearing on top of each other, and especially you know a, a lock. It's going to collect things. If you've got uh, carrying your keys in your pocket, maybe it picks up lint or small pieces of dirt from yep. from if, use. If you've been to the beach, you got a little sand in your pocket from the beach. That's going to go right inside your lock, and that's got to get cleaned out or lubricated to, to flush that out. And another common thing would be the, the temperature changes if it's raining and it's it's a lot of weather on that particular lock and then it gets cold and then it gets hot and Ex windy. Exterior doors definitely need it more than interior doors and the amount of use that you use is, depends on how often that you need to do this. So you start to see that it's, it's starting to get a little Difficult to use. You might have uh, difficulty turning it from time to time, but it's the same key. Everything actually works. It's just a little tougher. Yep, it starts okay. to get a little tougher, and that, like I said, that word gummy always seems to be an issue. And so um, people typically just say, all right, well, I've, I've got what you have here, right, WD-40. I've got WD-40 in my garage. I sprayed it in my lock, and it worked perfect mm -hmm. for about two months. And then they ended up with a whole lot bigger problems than they had in the beginning, and the reason is, is that WD-40 is actually an oil-based product. Okay. So it, it does have an oil in it. And if you have oil, over time, it's going to end up collecting a lot of trash, dirt, and et cetera. Gotcha. So as this oil-based product starts collecting all that trash and dirt, that happens inside of your lock. When that's happening inside of your lock, the tolerances of what makes a lock work mm -hmm. very, very slim. So now all of the lint that you were putting in there that sometimes came back out with your key is being caught by the oil. Yeah. And your lock is full of gummy, lint, sand, trash, etc. And you'll typically see a lot of that when you spray uh, WD-40 in. You'll see a lot of kind of black you'll residue see, coming out. You'll see a lot of black residue come out. I can always tell if I'm cleaning a lock that has been sprayed with WD-40 several times, mm -hmm. you, it just the, the black gooey stuff just pours out of it. So what's this? What's the So this is a this? synthetic lock lubricant, and WD-40 actually makes a synthetic lock lubricant, but this is a different one. This is called Lock Saver. Mm -hmm. um, this is, you know, a preferred brand. There's plenty of brands out there, but it's the big thing about it is it's a, synth a synthetic and dry lubricant. Mm -hmm. So this is specifically made for lock hardware, mm -hmm. and you're going to see the difference here in just a second. We're going to spray them on the aluminum foil and you're going to see that oily residue left over versus it not being left over. So this will be a dry lubricant inside the lock. It's going to allow all the pieces to be able to move freely. Mm -hmm. It's going to get a lot of that trash out of there, and it still will be a lubricant. Now, I know some lock manufacturers use a dry powder lubricant that, when they're when they're actually assembling the locks. That, that, that is a thing. That a dry powder lubricant will also work. For, for a homeowner, for somebody that just... You know, to, well, you need to spray it inside spray there. You're it inside to disassemble. It. This is a whole lot easier sure. way to use. But it's it's essentially the, the a similar product, but in a spray form. That is correct. Okay. So what, what how do you, why do, what's the point of having the difference and, and why should you so, not use the, the wet? So I'm going gonna, gonna to spray each one of these. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spray the, the lock saver here. And we're just going to, we're not going to make a huge mess here. We're going to spray just a little bit. And then I will spray the WD-40 here. And what you're going to notice is I have to give them just a little bit of time to dry. Mm -hmm. But now that they've had, I don't know, what is that, 10 or 15 seconds, if I wipe my hand across here, yeah. you don't see an oily residue. So the, there's no oily residue on my fingers after I wipe my hand there. But when I wipe my hand across here, you can see how shiny mm -hmm. my fingers are in that oily residue. Yeah. That oil is what's going to collect the trash over time. So over time... You're going to collect more and more gunk and, and goo inside of your lock. And as that happens, the tumblers that are inside of there are no longer able to move up and down, which is why you have a hard time putting your key in or extracting your key. It's also why it has a hard time rotating because it's full of 
that oil in the gunker goose. So anytime you hear somebody say, hey, I'm gonna spray WD-40 in my lock, mm -hmm. they know they're gonna have a locksmith out there before long because they're gonna have bigger issues. So the big takeaway from today is if I'm going to maintain my own locks, which is, is great, make sure that we're using a dry lubricant or a synthetic make lubricant instead of something that's oil-based because it will over time be worse. Now, here's the other question I'm gonna ask. Graphite, as a lot of people say, I'm just going to put some graphite in my lock. Okay. What is what is the difference between a, a kind of an oil base, a dry, and then graphite? So so graphite works, but graphite is messy. Mm -hmm. So you're going to end up with that graphite mess on your key, mm -hmm. and that graphite mess is then going to be in turn get in your pocket. If you set your keys on the counter, you're going to see residue from that because graphite is messy. It is a great lubricant, but it is very messy. So I don't suggest using it in a place that you're going to put your keys in and out of on a regular basis. So you would want to always go kind of back to that dry synthetic. That, that dry lubricant. synthetic lube versus it's the graphite. It's the cleanest. Just because yeah. of the mess. Now, I mean, if you're in an industrial setting sure. and, and it's taking a lot of abuse, graphite may be the way to go, but I don't think there's a lot of settings that graphite is, is gonna be the way to go. Very cool, well thank you for the information today and the show and tell, I think it's very informative. If you would like to find out more, you can follow the, the link in the description below and you can click that to connect with us if you uh, wanna find out more where you can get some of this lubricant to keep in stock. Maybe if you're managing a facility and you need to have some of this, we can definitely help you out with that. Or if you've run into a situation where you've used some uh, oil-based lubricant and you're having some locks uh, that are getting sticky and your solution is to continue continue to spray that, then maybe you want to contact as well so we can work through that process with you. If, uh, if you'd like to connect with us, you can also call us. We'll be happy to chat with you and uh, figure out a best way to, to, to service your locks. Thank you very much for joining us today, and we'll see you next time.